Uh, Cole? What's going on? Uh, there's a signal. Yeah, we're getting close to Troy. What's it read? Um, I do not know. How does it read? There are a bunch of yellow dots in a line. This must be a dartboard. Okay, time for a little overly obscure signals 101. They replaced all the rest of these, but Troy somehow never got the memo. What? Never mind. What's the pattern of lights? Um... A line? Yes, thank you. Is it horizontal or vertical? Uh, it's... Diagonal. Okay, which diagonal? Top left? Bottom right. That diagonal. Right. No, left. That's what I said. Left. I am so freaking lost. Never mind. We're moving. Wait, wait, hang on just a second. No, 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 go. Before they change it, we're sitting on the main line. Remember? But what does it mean? It means go. But... Did Stallion tell you where this was going? Um, no. Ugh, the dispatcher should know. And I should... Call him? My radio is busted. Wow. Way to go, Nick. What'd you do to it? Yeah, yeah, just call him. They can handle the switches. I can't understand you. What do you mean you can't understand? It's plain English. Shh. Not you. I'm talking to dispatch. Well, well then, mister. Track two. Dead ahead. Finally. Come on. Round house is over there. Let's catch some downtime. All right. Then hop to it. Don't any of you dare let me catch you back here when I get back from the paper mill. She seems, uh, rather strict. Don't let her scare you. She's just cranked over from the stupid backups and dab report. I mean, it's not her fault, but... She could learn to stick a sprocket in it, though. Stick my sprocket in it? Cork it, dweeb. Yeah, I guess. Say, what's your name? I'm Katie. Mostly a freight hauler these days. Not Kate, by the way. I know you're the new guy. Got a name, Hotshot? Uh, it's. it's Cole. Nice to meet you. Uh, it's Cole. <laughs> no, no. Just Cole. <laughs> yeah, figured as much. You'll get used to it after a while. What else? Oh, welcome to Troy. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hate the signals. Yeah, they suck. But you'll get to know them. You're lucky. The whole system used to be that way. Or at least I'm told. I think there are a couple of people still around that remember it that way. Not me, though. Get moving! Ugh, one of these days, I swear. I'll put her in her place. Not today, though. The girl's gotta fly. Catch you later. Well, freight to move. Nice talking to you. Uh, it's cold. See you tonight. That's strange. She normally doesn't joke around that much. I think she likes you. What? What? Oh. My. Gurp. You like her too? Do not! Do too! Go talk to her! What's the worst that can happen? I just did. Uh, we, anyways, we got stuff to be getting to, right? Ugh, loosen up. We're just kidding, you know. No, we're not! Anyway, I don't have an assignment yet. Guess you're on your own. Um, what do I need to do? Your crew has your assignments. They should tell you. <laughs> but I... Hey, what do you two think you're doing idling around? Nick! What? It's my day off, remember? Uh, no. I said you didn't have any trains. You're supposed to be showing sunshine here around the yard. It's... it's actually gold. Oh, get over it. And get moving. Alright, fine. Come on, Cole. Dark port class time. More of those... Things? Yes, deal with it. It's my day off, my birdie. Sooner we get done, sooner I can get some sleep. You let me get my sleep, I'll let you get yours. 1 a.m., boys. 1 a.m. Uh, go back? No, you are cleared to move forwards. Who designed these things? Heck if I know. Why? Because this is extremely confusing and I hate whoever is behind them. They do have an advantage. Eh, who am I kidding? Yeah, they suck. What's that mean? It means it's time to go. What? God, not this again? Why are you idiots on the interlocking? We're not, we're not. You didn't see anything. Oh my god, Sam is gonna kill you. No, no, please don't tell her. She already knows. Nick! Gosh darn it. I'm sorry. You idiots. That's enough class for one day. I want you back in this yard within five minutes. You could have gotten yourselves crushed and the hawk derailed. Not to mention giving Johnson PTSD. Christ, when you're not making delays, you're delays in the making. Sorry, sorry. I don't need the lip. I need you two out of the way now. Now what? We go back to the shed? No, no. There's way more yard. Did you know we have two turntables? What? It's still my day off, you know. You've made that clear. Though when I'm the one who assigns days off, I can change that sort of thing around without training a blind driver. Case in point, you're officially reinstated for service. Compressor blew out in the 11 o'clock freight to Johnstown. Go help. What? 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 what me? Th this isn't fair. Fair is your big point? Life on the rails ain't fair sometimes. Lest poor Katie's train not be stuck. Wait, wait. Katie? Like... Katie? Katie, yes. Her compressor's been chattering in her sleep. Guess it finally turned over. Well, uh... <laughs> Cole likes Katie. Cole likes Katie. Do not! For goodness sake, Nick. Get out there. But why? I, uh... I can do it if he really isn't up to it. Yeah, see? Let Cole do it. He likes Katie anyway. Shut up! Fine. No rust off my pilot. But make sure you watch your signals. Hope you learned enough so far. Head out up the line to the east. Ugh, well this sucks. 
You think it's lousy for you. You ain't cooking in a sardine tin sized box. Yeah, well you forget that box is attached to me. And I'm not like a sardine can, you're probably thinking of Hank. That's that's n I I didn't mean it like that. Sure you didn't. You sure you called for backup? You you asked me this like five times so far. Yes. Yes, I did. The send a Nick from Troy. Nick? The Jeep. I'm pretty sure that's the only Nick we have. Well, damn it. Probably the second to last person I wanted to see today. What's that supposed to mean? You, you gonna elaborate? Nope. <sighs> of course not. Well, he certainly ain't the quickest rescuer. But he's got impeccable timing. And a nice sounding horn. That's not Nick. He sounds like he speaks squeaky and sort of vexatious. Vexatious? Are you kidding me? You don't even know what that means. Do you? Well, no, but that's not my point. Ah, forget it. Hey, Katie. Uh, it's Cole. Where's Nick? He didn't want to come. Tell me something I didn't know. But Sam sent you instead? Well, I, uh... You know what? I don't give two wings. I'm just glad it's you. Really? Yeah, you're better than that rolling mass of parts. Nicer paint. He's very orange. Oh, good. You're not colorblind. Anyway, it's, it's gold. gold. Right. So, you two are, uh, interesting together. However, I can't help but feel like a toaster pastry in here, so can we get this show on the road, please? Oh, yeah. So, uh, what should I do? Well, you basically need to act as a compressor to release the brakes for the entire train. So, you'll need to tap into my brake line reservoir. Get behind me. Wait, what? How? I can move myself forward. My brakes aren't hard to overpower. Shut yourself in between the freight and my tender. Uh, but that's... Just do it. You won't be able to see, but you won't need to. You're just working the brakes. I don't think it's the view he's unhappy about. Oh, shut up. Alright. Brake pressure is up to 200. That should release all the cars but a few of the older ones. Who cares? It's all downhill from here anyway. We can manage a few draggers. Need my help? I got it. Just roll free and don't get too keen on the view you have, or I'll blind you with my backing light. Right. <laughs> metal on metal. Light. Ah! 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 What are you doing? Hey, cut it out. That's enough out of you. Just get us going. You know, one of these days I'm gonna duct tape that thing shut. You do, and we both explode. Drama queen. Irreparable. Guys! Oh, right. So. So, are we stuck with you all the way over the pass, or? No, Johnstown's got a reefer house and a decent sized freight spur. We'll leave the train down there and let the Eastern Division boys take it. They already have someone on the way, right? That makes sense. I mean, it gets me home early, so I can't complain. Right? Hey, hey, you said only to call for a helper. Not some freighter from out of nowhere to take a late train on their own time. What would you do without me? <laughs> Work union jobs. Lots of breaks, flexi schedule, much coffee as I could have a stomach. Yeah, yeah, snap out of it, Casey Jones. Plus, didn't you say you were in a union? No, I said I could be. They never answer my damn calls. I'm unionized. You are? How the hell does that work? It doesn't really. I just wanted the coffee. <laughs> you know, there's three million comedians out of a job, and here you are trying to become one. Out of job? But what about the unions? <laughs> You're gonna make me burst. We gotta start slowing down anyway. Yeah, time to slow your roll. See, it's not funny when you do it. No wonder they never pick up. Yeah, yeah. You know, at least I have legs. And here he goes with the legs again. Well, I mean, they're superior in every way, you gotta admit. Uh, Katie. Katie! Cole! What? Brakes! Oh, sorry. Oh. Yep, that's my face. Careful, Cole, we got fragile cargo on. I, uh, 
Sorry. Like they care if their canned beans are slightly jostled. My face! You seem to care whenever your coffee can gets dented. Hey, that's that's different. That's coffee. I need that to live. Well... No, no, he's right. Trust me when I say I've seen him without caffeine. What's that like? And trust me when I say you don't want to know. All right, all right. Here we are. Finally. Here we are, finally. Now we can go home. Where is here? Johnstown. Elevation 600 feet, population 345-ish, and little known home of the- Hey, Palmer. Wait, what? Who? Over here, Tangelo. For the last time, it's not orange, it's- Aspen Gold. Don't sweat it, Mac. We're from the same home road. I had a friend in that color, actually. Heck, he was the one who wore it first. It, real bummer him. Didn't know him as well as some of the others. At least he got an injunction named after him. I see. You do? What is this guy talking about? Normally he just rattles off random junk about who knows what. I guess whatever he wants to yammer about. You'd be surprised. I might be weird, but I ain't the most non sequitur around here. And again, I ask, where is here? Well, I just told you it's- Freight Junction built about 50 years back. It exports a lot of cattle. Some manufactured goods, too. Well, not to mention it connects you guys to us. Why are you- over there. It's called narrow gauge, cantaloupe. Means I, uh, well, it means I run on smaller tracks than you. Well, yeah, I can see that, but why? Oh, lots of reasons. Uh, it makes us better for the mountains and, well, I guess tight spaces in general. Not to mention cheaper. Hey, 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 now. Just because you're out of coffee doesn't mean you need to take it out on me. Th has he been like this all day? Since the topic of unions came up. And since you smashed my face into your back head, but nobody seems to care about that. Say no more. Anyways, I got to get the move on. Basil forgot his blasted mail connection on the J, so, uh, I gotta take it for him. Again? Yeah, indeed. He says he's just becoming blissfully ignorant with his age. <laughs> yeah. Charlie and I think he's just lazy. What's Eureka think? Ah, she thinks he isn't old enough to be old. She sides with him a lot, but she doesn't side with his antics when they reach a certain point of, uh... Fruitlessness? Yeah, and uh, kudos on the pun. I, I think I'm gonna like you, uh... Cool. Cool. Uh, well, I guess I'll be seeing y'all. But, you know, trains to move, mail to ferry. See you, Palmer. Alright. If you two are done, can we go home now? Alright. I suppose we've made you suffer enough. Thank you. Cole, you can uncouple. We'll handle it for No, me. no. Stay there. What? Why? You can handle the breaking, can't you? Well, yeah. I just don't mind you there. Uh, alright then. Shall we? We shall. And thank God for that. <laughs>